BioBalance HealthCast, Episode 150, Laser Therapy. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about positive aging. Your hosts are Dr. Kathy Maupin, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging, and Brett Newcomb, a licensed professional counselor. Hi, today I'm going to talk not about hormones and not about medical treatments, but about aesthetic treatments. They are somewhat medical treatments as we use laser lights to improve our appearance. It's interesting because most of my patients, when I began doing pellet therapy, look so much better after they had their pellets. They look beautiful and then they got used to looking beautiful and they said, hmm, what can I do about this? This brown spot here or these wrinkles here or why are my br brows sagging and what do you do? and how do you keep your, your skin looking nice? So at that time, I went through a lengthy uh, soul searching and decided that we should have lasers at our office and we should provide this service. And so I went, I went to training and I brought my um, aesthetic nurses and laser specialists with me. And we decided to have a complete program for making people beautiful, even more beautiful than the pellets made them. Because when you have a new lease on life, you want to look like you feel. So this is, this is the, on the continuum, this is the end point of beginning with pellets, feeling better, feeling younger, and then helping uh, my patients look younger. So we began, and as you should begin, by developing a facial line. So I have a line of products that patients use before they start deciding on using any kind of laser treatments. These are pre-treatment and they should be used prior to any kind of therapy with lasers. But I find a lot of confusion about lasers, so that's what I'm gonna talk about today. My friends go, I hear about this laser, look at this. It's in Ledoux News, it's in this newspaper. What does that mean? What are they doing and what will it do? So that's why I wanna to talk to you about lasers today because I'd like to dispel a lot of, a lot of the um, confusion about it. So let me start off by saying, first you should see for a consultation a laser specialist and you should have a Vizia evaluation of your face. That will tell you all of the things that you have uh, aging the aging changes all of these things will uh, give you a picture of your abnormal vessels your brown spots your sun damage and it'll give you six different pictures about your skin your face and your neck by doing that you know pretty much what the rest of your body is suffering from as well so it tells you are you better than people your own age are you worse than people your own age how old do you really look by looking at these, dam these damaged spots. So that's very important. And then a consultation with someone who is expert in laser is very important as well. In this consultation, you should tell them what bothers you the most, and, they sh and you should be open to them saying, well, these are the things that age you. These are the things that I see that age you. And together, you should d develop a list. And that list should be what's the most important thing for you to get rid of right now and what should you treat ongoing and as you save money or as you have time, then you can then go through this process of laser resurfacing. And it's like, um, it's really like a facelift without the knife. So let's start with the very first laser I, type of laser I like to use on patients because it makes a huge difference in the tone, the texture, and the color of, of their skin. When someone looks at you from far away and they see brown spots all over your face, they give you an age estimate. That tells them you're, you're older, that you've been out in the sun too much, that you haven't taken care of yourself, you haven't worn sunscreen, and those are things that should be taken care of right away. Just by doing that, you will take years off of your look. And if you do your face, remember you have to do your hands and maybe lower arms if you wear sleeveless uh, clothes all the time. Because someone looks at your face and you look young, they look at your hands and they go, ah, yeah, she's just doing stuff for her face. Your, her, her hands look old. So I know she's like, oh, 60, when you may even be just 50. So they overjudge your age by, by that. So always have your hands and your face done along with your neck and 
décolleté, I can't even say that, décolleté, which is your chest, the things that are exposed to sun and the things that people see immediately. Now, the laser that does this, there's many different names, but it's intermittent pulse light, IPL. All of the different laser companies name them different things, which makes you very confused when you're trying to decide on a treatment. So IPL or intermittent pulse light is a light that is a laser that is used on your skin and it goes to a certain depth and it kills the brown, the cells that have brown spots, not your tan, not the color of your skin, but just the damage because it's at a different level of your skin. It's at a different depth. So it hones in on that depth and it actually kills those cells. Those cells are all precancerous. Those are cells you should get removed. So it goes to that level on your skin, it kills those cells and they become what we call pycnotic. They become shrunken and dark. And then over the next three to five days, sometimes it depends on how much damage you have, comes to the surface. So, so you know, three to five days and sometimes six to seven days, you're going to have some downtime where you're going to look like you have terrible damage to your skin, but it's actually fixing you. And when it comes to the surface and peels off, then you have new skin and the damage has been removed and you can decrease your risk of skin cancer this way. It's amazing. It does two different things. It gives you aesthetically a more beautiful look and it gives you a better texture to your skin. Your skin will feel softer and you won't have all those dark spots. Now, downside is you have to do it several times to get all of those brown spots. If you have more damage, you're going to have to do, it's the same old thing. You didn't take care of your skin more than someone else and you're going to have to do more to get it back. So you may have to have three to six treatments about every six weeks while the skin is regenerating to get all the brown spots back. Then what I do, I had all these treatments, I had IPL treatments to get rid of my brown spots because I was a really bad girl and I was out in the sun all the time thinking I'm Italian, I'm never going to have damage, I'm never going to, I'm never going to get brown spots because I'm not blonde, which I was wrong. And so when I was 40, I looked very old because I had brown spots all over my face, hands, and lower, um, lower arms. So I went into a plastic surgeon's office, which is who used to do these on their, uh, they were exclusive to plastic surgeons and not to other physicians. And so I went in and had all the black, black, brown, and tan spots removed. And I had to go through six treatments. At that time, the treatment hurt. Now the treatment, we use lidocaine gel and the treatment is like a rubber band, just snapping. And that's all it, it feels like. If you're very sensitive, we can give you some pre-op pain medicine, so pre-laser pain medicine so that you don't feel it so much. And if, if you're tough, you don't even need the lidocaine. It's, not, it's really not bad. But at the time, it hurt and it made my face really red and then all the dark spots came up. It was not as good a treatment then as it is now. So I looked like I had a disease. It came up to the top and all peeled off. I went to a party anyway. I just told people that I was having a treatment and I put some camouflage makeup on, which didn't really hide it. So you do have to look at your calendar before you schedule these. In any case, I had a whole series at that time and the way I keep up with it is every fall I have another treatment. That gets rid of whatever I've developed over the summer when I've sweated off my sunscreen or I've been out in the sun too long for my sunscreen or I've been in the pool and forgotten to reapply it. So that is, that is exactly how you should do it. You should do a series, get rid of everything, look awesome, and then keep up once a year with one or two treatments and that will keep you looking absolutely beautiful and take away all of the pre-cancerous skin. Now there's a, IPL has three different wavelengths. There's one wavelength for very fair people that someone like me would never use because it would burn my skin. It would be too shallow. And then there's one for medium skin and there's one for dark skin. I had to use dark and medium because I had damage at different levels. So I had to use both at the same time and we do that. If you have to have, if, if we get 
some of the brown spots with the laser. I'm doing this because that's how we do it. We, uh, we go zit, 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 and we have gel underneath that cools you. And then and we're getting every area, and then we change our direction and go the other way so that we don't miss anything. So when I, I had that done, then I know for a few days, since it's just follow-up, it's just treatment, I only need to be off for a couple days before I look normal again. But upkeep is really important. So if you've had this done 10 years ago, you certainly need to do another series and start over. So what you really need to know here is IPL is for brown spots, it's for texture, and it's for tone. You need to take a picture of yourself and look at that picture and take a close-up picture and say, what don't I like about my face, my neck, my chest, and maybe my hands? Because looking in the mirror is a little different. It's a little bit more difficult to be critical, but looking at a picture, it's very, it's very important to find all of the abnormalities that you want to get rid of. When you have a consultation, you should know what you want to fix. Your, your expert should be able to tell you how to fix it. So that's, that's the brown spots. Now I'm going to um, begin with another type of treatment, which is called skin tightening. And the skin tightening is usually a radio wave with uh, a laser, and it is used to heat up the skin and promote collagen. And, you, and we do this, and we, we try on the face, we go all over the face and the neck and the chest, to stimulate your, your skin to tighten up. It takes six weeks for you to see the difference for this. It is a progressive change, and then you do another treatment. And as you do the treatments, your skin gets tighter and tighter. I've changed this a little bit for our office because we try different things together. We try one of the lasers with another laser to see if we get a better outcome when we're doing each other, when we're taking care of each other. So we found that if we do a skin tightening treatment, with something called a Q-switch, which I'll address later, then we get a better, faster tightening of the skin. So view the uh, skin tightening as a radio wave, warm, um, slow tightening of the, of the skin so that everything pulls up and that your, skin, your neck pulls up and your, you smooth out your neck and your chest. And then the Q-switch is like a stapler, like a staple gun. We just zit, 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 all the way around all the areas you want to have tack up your skin. And it's an immediate deal. When you do a picture before and after, you can't believe that it actually shows a difference. So we go all the way around the outside. And if you have problem here, we'll go over all the areas that you need to pull up. Now, you may need to pull this area up, but that means we have to do the whole face this way all the way up here to pull up your chin. Then we have to come all the way down, even with the Q-switch, to staple gun everything. So tight, skin tightening can be used other places than your, uh, than your face and your neck. It can be used on your arms, and that is somewhat painful, so we usually use lidocaine first, and we give you pain medicine if necessary, but it doesn't hurt later, and there's no sign that you had any treatment. So for this, just like the IPL, you should be out of the sun for a few weeks, and you should be out of the sun for a few weeks afterwards, before and after, so we like to do it in the fall. Q-switch, if you are doing just that, you can do that any time of year, and that works. And every once in a while when I feel like I'm not looking perky or, or my skin isn't just right, I'll go in and, and put my goggles on and laser myself. So, Okay, <laughs> it's not, I mean, it's not that easy, if, but if you know how to do it, that's what all the laser specialists do. So I just let you in on one of my secrets. In any case, laser, so you can, you can take the skin of your abdomen and you can do both treatments, both the Q-switch and the skin tightening to your abdomen. If you have stretch marks, we can use another treatment, which we'll go over, called a Pixel. That will not only tighten your stomach, but it'll also help the stretch marks go away. So those are, those are little tricks you learn as you get into this process more and more. We're very proud of our laser specialists and we're very proud of the outcomes they have. We have before and after pictures and, and our patients are very willing to share with us. So now we've gone over skin tightening and that's something you would ask for specifically or your specialist would say, well, you know, 
your little everything's are falling down here let's tighten your skin up and that plus the Q switch would be your answer now when we look at um, what most people look at is wrinkles so pretend we're, we're not going to talk about Botox here but Botox is necessary to permanently get rid of your wrinkles you have to keep the muscles from scrunching up your face because everybody who smiles gets wrinkles here everybody who frowns gets wrinkles here everybody who wrinkles their nose gets wrinkles there I have those and I have to get them I have to get them treated all the time but you'll also get some wrinkles here some wrinkles here so those are things that are treated with two other lasers one's called a pixel which is ablative. Ablative means it actually burns. So you are going to have a burned effect. It goes so deep into the collagen to stimulate your collagen that you're going to get kind of a crusty light burn on the face. It doesn't change the color of your skin. It doesn't change anything about your skin except it stimulates collagen to tighten you up. And that's the most effective, but it's also the longest recovery in terms of tightening your face and making you look younger because your skin's tightened and it also make, resurfaces it. It makes the skin tone different. It makes you look smoother and can get rid of acne scars. So it doesn't change the color of your skin like the IPL does, but it does tighten and it does smooth and it does get rid of little little bumps in, uh, on the outside of your skin, but it takes a while to recover and it's a little painful. So we use topical lidocaine and we use uh, pain medicine afterwards. For a few days, it's not very comfortable and I would suggest planning a few days where you can just relax, chill out. You're gonna have a um, collagen mask that you can put on your face to cool it down and we have products that we give you in a post-laser kit so that you will have a better outcome than you would have if you went somewhere else who didn't give you that. So we're always looking for how do we get the best outcome? How do we give our patients something more than what they would get at the corner laser store? So that's, that's why I believe that you can have a better look with, your, uh, with all of our lasers. Now, the last pixel is actually called the Q-switch pixel. This is the one that you don't have any burn. It's non-ablative and it goes deep and it does stimulate your collagen and it does give you an initial effect that gets better and better over six weeks. You can do that any time of year. You can do that as many times as you like and it will, it will like staple your skin back. <laughs> not like this, not like you had your ponytails too tight, but more like a natural like you used to look when you were younger. And I forgot to say that you should always bring in a picture of when you were not 18, not 20, but when you were 30 to 40, because that's a mature face and that's what we're trying to recreate. So we like to keep that in your chart to look at the face that you had when you were younger. And we always compare back to that and you should as well. So we're not trying to make you look like someone else. We're trying to make you look like you. And, that, and that's the key to this and the key to our, our art and science of it. But the Q-switch is so amazing. It's probably our best new technique because it will help stretch marks. It will help, I mean, I use it periodically to tighten the skin under my arms. When you get muscle, then the skin kind of hangs a little bit until it gets used to your new arms. And so if I work out a lot and get a lot of muscle, then I use a Q-switch to support that and I also use my cellulite uh, serum to then help it heal and stay there. So everything's working against gravity. If we could just sleep upside down like a bat, we would probably have less wrinkles, but we can't do that. And it's probably not good for our brains to sleep upside down. So, um, so we have all of those things in our laser armamentarium and, uh, and we can look at you and tell you which things you need. You don't have to do them all at once. You can do a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. Of course, we have hair removal and our, our hair removal is without pain. And that's what everybody says. Well, I've had it done so-and-so and it hurt really badly and now this doesn't hurt. And we don't go zit, 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 zit. We go, we use a, a motion with the lasers on all all the time over the area that you want to get rid of your hair and so it doesn't hurt you have to do five different passes like this to get all the hair follicles and then within a week or two the hair falls out and then it doesn't grow back 
but hair has a six, excuse me, a six week to three month um, cycle. And we usually have to do it every cycle. So we choose to do it about 12, 12 weeks. And we do them usually in a package of six because that's how long it takes to get rid of all the hair in the area that you want it. You have to catch every cycle as it's growing. So we're going to continue talking about some of our other procedures that we can offer you that can attend to other issues that you may have that you may not have heard about. But most of the issues that I hear about, my friends ask me about, are, are brown spots, irregularity in tone and texture, wrinkles, faces falling, and big grooves like between their breasts or um, right in here. You don't always need to use fillers. Fillers are nice, and we'll talk about them uh, at another time, but you can do all of this with laser. Thank you for listening. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth. Find Brett Newcomb at brettnewcomb.com.